our mission to reach into the corners of society where FIRST has not yet reached. We try to appeal to the athletes, to the artists, to the videographers, the people who otherwise not have been exposed to FIRST. We make FIRST loud on a whole new level. The team has grown incredibly. We've had people come in on the team that are in speech and debate, people that are in service, people that are athletes. Here at Team 254, we make FIRST heard in the local community through providing online tutorials, technical workshops, posting a robot source code online, and providing manufacturing assistance to a number of local teams. Our 126 student members also provide over 3,000 hours of community outreach at events such as Google I.O., demos on the USS Hornet, and we're mentoring 15 local FLL teams. But the event I'm most proud of is our support for the local Toys for Tots drive in which one of our mentors organizes over 100 students from various teams to provide 100% of the volunteer support to make sure this event runs smoothly. If I was to compare and contrast Team 24 from other teams, what stands out, especially this year over other years, is a kind of a shockwave approach. What they're doing is hitting non-traditional venues. Team 254 has always tried to get the message of FIRST out there, and we've been targeting people who don't normally hear that message. And one way we've done this is through Shockwave, our t-shirt cannon. Shockwave has been featured in Gizmodo, Make Magazine, Wired, and even Sports Illustrated. And it marks the first time that FIRST has been featured in any of these publications. It's estimated that Shockwave has reached 27 million people, either in person or through various media. And Shockwave has created the equivalent of $600,000 in free advertising for FIRST and STEM. When I was a student on the team, I had a very positive experience as far as learning to be part of the community, not just giving back to it. One way we try to do that at 254 is by opening up the lab that NASA provides us so that other teams can have access to some of the generous resources that you know NASA allows us to have. Over the past two months, we've had over 20 teams in and out of the lab. We spent two weekends training uh, over 60 of our kids to be what we call fix-it team members, to go out into the pits at competitions to help people and also to learn from them. First affected me because it gave my life direction. The team gave me direction. I didn't know that I could not only be paid for, but celebrated for the, the tinkering that I did that got me in trouble at home. There's definitely a one team that really motivates me every single year, and that's 254. 